Hello everybody, this is your final week of preparation for IIT JAM MS 2024 and here are some of the tips that I am giving from my end for you to adopt to solve IIT JAM MS 2024 question paper and make sure that you're adopting this strategy so that you would be tension free. Based on the syllabus of IIT JAM MS 2024, I'm going to give you the order in which you should solve the questions based on the topics. The first one, you should solve questions regarding random variables, univariate distributions because you have been practicing this for a very long time and I'm very sure you have been perfected with this concept. The second order is the limiting distributions, limit theorems and sampling distributions. Questions regarding Chebyshev's inequality, central limit theorem and Markov's inequality. All these inequalities are very easy to adopt. You can just see the question and you can guess that this in inequality is applying here and you can solve this question. So the second order should be this. The third order of solving the questions should be testing of hypothesis. If you see the IIT JAM MS previous year question papers, all the testing of hypothesis questions come very easy. Some of the questions are very easy and some of the questions are hard to interpret. Make sure that you're solving all the easy questions that are coming from testing of hypothesis. Basically, simple null hypothesis uh, do not get into solving the composite null hypothesis because that will lead to more trouble. The fourth order of solving the question should be from estimation regarding sufficiency, consistency, UM, VUV and other estimators. Why? Because these kind of questions usually come in multiple answer questions and you have to take some time to understand what the questioner is asking you. And based on that, you need to solve these questions. So that's why you need to solve this in the fourth priority. And the last priority, the fifth priority should be probability related questions. These questions come in long format and it takes a lot of time for a person to read and interpret what is being asked and what probability needs to be calculated. So if you waste your time in the initial regarding probability related questions, you will miss out on all other easy questions regarding uh, random variables, joint distributions, PMF, all these are very easy questions. While I'm telling you about the statistics, I'm also keeping in mind the mathematics part as well. So in the mathematics, in case you come across some questions which are easy in mathematics in between the statistics questions, you solve them. If you are not able to solve these questions, leave it and then go to the next question. So your first round of going through the question paper should be only solving those questions which require only 30 to 40 seconds. Based on this time, I have deduced the order in which you should be solving the questions in statistics. Usually if you see in mathematics, integral calculus comes very easy and uh, next is sequences and then next is matrices and determinants. So all these are basic orders, but the order doesn't apply in mathematics. Uh, you if you think that you can solve the questions in mathematics because everybody has their own uh, difficulty level when it comes to mathematics. So you can solve the questions in between. If you think that you can solve this in 30 to 40 seconds, if you have already come across these questions, I'm very sure Vivekanand sir has taught you very well in mathematics. So if you think you can solve these questions in 30 to 40 seconds, go ahead or I'll skip it and then go to the next question. So let's dive down to reality. You have three hours of giving the examination. First, you need to go through the whole question paper, solve all the questions which are very easy, which you know that you can solve in a very less uh, amount of time. And then your first round of going through the paper ends. And then again, go through the question paper. Do not dive into solving multiple answer questions at that point because these questions take a very long time to analyze and interpret which option is correct because you need to go through every option. Whereas in multiple choice questions, you might come across questions where you just need to compute the value and then uh, check if the value is there. Even the same thing applies to numerical answer questions as well. So first make sure that your priority of the sections, multiple choice questions, and then comes the numerical answer type. And then last one comes the multiple answer questions. One thing to keep in mind is you do not have to solve each and every question. So first thing is you need to realize this is an entrance exam where everybody is facing the same kind of difficulty that you are facing. So first normalize that fact. And the next thing to realize is you need about 50 to 60 average to get a very good rank in IIT JAM MS 2024. So because in when I gave my exam in uh, 2022, my total marks was 53 and I secured AIR 9. So you just need some marks. So how you can get this is you need to solve it very smartly. I also adopted the same strategy. 
uh, which was already provided by Vivekanand sir. You need to go through the question paper again and again because in the three hours time, if you go on solving one by one, first question you answer and then come to the second question, then you will not be able to solve even 11 or 12 questions properly because the order of di uh, difficulty is spread across the whole question paper. So you don't get the first easy questions in the first half and the difficult ones in the second. So that is uh, the design of the question paper of IIT Jam. Time is very, very crucial when it comes to IIT Jam and you need to account for the amount of time you're spending for each question because time is ticking. Usually in numerical answer type, you get some easy questions that you can solve in statistics. Maybe it might be related to testing of hypothesis or maybe just calculating expectation or variance or using conditional expectation. So these kind of questions that you have practiced throughout your year. So make sure that you're solving this in the first half itself. So that in the second half, you're just keeping those questions which are hard for you to solve in the first go. Time should be your first priority. It is not a test for your entire intelligence that you have gathered in one year. Maybe you have solved this question earlier, but in that exam, you are, you are not able to solve that question. It is entirely normal. You can skip that question and go to the next one. You can just solve those questions which you are able to solve. So that should be your strategy that you should be adopting in the first place. In the last 15 to 20 minutes left, please stop solving the question paper. Analyze the entire question paper that you have solved and make sure that you have ticked the right option that you have got. Maybe you might have got the expectation as five, but you have clicked it as six because there is so much nervousness happening. So you don't want to miss out on those questions that you have solved thoroughly. So make sure that you're ticking the right option and those questions where there is no negative marking and you just have an intuition that these might be right, this might be the right option or these might be the right options. So tick them and then end the question paper. It is okay. There is no negative marking. You can, it, it is just like a trial. Something is better than nothing. So you have just tried it based on the intuition and it is okay. If it is right, then good. Wrong, you're not losing anything in that part. All the very best for IIT Jam MS 2024. You're gonna do wonders. I'm, I believe in you. You have gone through a lot this whole year with respect to your preparation. You have dedicated your time. You have been uh, through entire concentration. So make sure that you're giving justice to everything and all the time that you have spent on this preparation. All the very best. You're gonna do wonders.